Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to episode 1 of a very unexpected LP. This is Aliens Colonial Marines, which just came out a couple days ago at the time of this recording. Normally, uh, I like to adhere to the three-month three rule on games that just come out, since, you know, it's good to give people a chance to actually buy the game and support the developers. However, that's not really the case with Colonial Marines, and I hope that nobody buys this after seeing it. Yep, this is the game that has basically been uh, getting shit on across the internet for being terrible, despite being in development for like six or seven years. It's supposed to be a direct sequel canonically to Aliens, the second movie in the Alien series, but also takes place, I guess, after Alien 3 or during Basically, it's kind of a mess, and it's really silly that this is supposed to be considered canon. Um, so we're just going to play the campaign for the purposes of this Let's Play. N normally, you know, you'd want to show off the multiplayer, because I think the multiplayer might actually be the interesting part of this game. But, you know, the thing they made a big deal out of was the campaign, so that's what we're going to play. Now, I've seen people playing this on Soldier, and it seems really easy. A little too easy. So I'm hoping maybe if we play on Hardened, the, uh, the aliens won't be such a joke. Alright, I'm gonna shout for this cutscene. Dwayne Hicks, TQ4 04821 5E9. Distress. My unit has suffered immense casualties on LV 426 and requests immediate assistance aboard the USS Sulaco. Of the survivors, myself, two human females, one of which is a child, and a damaged synthetic. Consider all Colonial Marines dispatched to LV 426 to be KIA. Repeat, all Marines dispatched to LV-426 with KIA. So we've got Hicks there from the end of Aliens. Sending out a distress signal. And then this takes place, I believe, 17 weeks after the end of the second movie. and shine, Marines. This isn't a drill and you aren't in Kansas anymore. On your feet, Marines. For any new recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a distress call sent out 17 weeks ago from the USS Sulaco. Rhino 23 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. You are the last of the battalion to get popped out of cryo. So I don't want to hear any bitching because we let you lughead sleep in late. Get combat ready, and I'll see you in the hangar in 20 mics. Name and rank? Corporal Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. Corporal Winter, I'm sending in Rhino 2 1 to reinforce 2 3. How are you feeling, kid? I'm feeling good, Captain. But I'm worried about 2 3. That's good, because I'm sending you in to catch up with Rhino 2 1. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can see who caused this. Sir, what happened in there? We shit the bed. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora! As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're gonna send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury 161. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing our Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. Information to follow as it comes online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah to Ash! Oorah! <laughs> 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 
Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know what I'm up against. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2-1 I'm en route to their location. Now we are in control. So the first thing you might notice about this game, if you're familiar with the Aliens movies, is that they did a good job hitting on a lot of the things they brought over, like this pulse rifle here. You know, the, the USS Sulaco, the power loaders, even Bishop, though not the same Bishop from the movie, as Bishops are all actually the exact same looking synthetics. Yes, thank you, tutorial. We don't need another tutorial. What is that even? Is that tab? I've never seen that icon before. Nope, that's not it. Alright, so we're boarding the Sulaco now from a glass umbilical cord. Seems like a poor idea. Ah! What the hell just happened in there? Raider 6-5, are you in the air yet? Explosive decompression in the Sulaco. This is Raider 6-5. The umbilical is venting Atmo into the black. Looks dicey, sir. Dicey? Raider, I need grown-up words. You have 20 minutes before a total collapse. Shut it down. Where are you heard the lady? Get to the other side and we're shutting it down. You know, the dropships look the same, the too. Winter out. But yeah, this seems like a really dumb idea. Why does this thing have windows and not just, you know, solid metal keeping space out? Alright, so if you weren't following, the situation is basically... Everyone they sent to the Sulaco before us has been uh, pretty fucked up, but we don't know why. Several injured over here. I need a corpsman right away for the down marines from Rhino 2-1. Negative 2-1. That explosion jacked the airlock on our end. We cannot use the umbilical without risking more lives. Sit tight and stabilize our marines. 2-1, what is the status of 2-3? Winner. Looks like he sent you over in this mess as well. Pull up your motion tracker. Do what you see. Alright, so we got their motion tracker. Again, from I the two movie. here. And I'm reading 2-3 to the south. Beyond the hangar, engineering perhaps. No. Wait. Even makes all the right sounds. Unidentified signal. Something's moving. Damn it. Sephora actual. It sounds like two three are holding position. Boy, they're down. We're reading unidentified movement in their area. They could be under attack. So we're in a hostile environment with an unknown enemy. Sounds about right for an aliens game so far. So far. I'm heading into rendezvous with 2-3. Remember what I said about heroics, kid. Actual out. Sir, there's a uh, half an unidentified synthetic splattered across the deck in here. Which half? Well, he ain't saying much. Then find me a half that does. Actual out. Of course, there's a good old bishop from the end of Aliens. <laughs> Alright, the bottom half of Bishop. This would be the uh, cargo bay where Ripley fought the alien queen. Some more Bishop blood. You might notice a lot of the things in this game don't look great for a game that came out in 2013. I think part of that is because it's been in development for six years and constantly put off, according to a anonymous person who worked on this game on Reddit. So you might notice like a lot of these textures really don't look great up close. Got a flashlight. Health-wise, this game uses both regenerating health and health packs. You can see on the bottom left there, we have three segments of health. Uh, basically, you know, if you don't lose a full segment, the segment will fill back up. And then we've got armor above that, which, unlike some games, 
basically takes all the damage until it runs out. No. Got movement. Though you might notice that every time we encounter an enemy, the, the motion track will make a ping even if we don't have it up. So it kind of removes the suspense if you know something's coming. I'm sure we know it's what like we're tracking here. Ejected cryo tubes. Hell of a way to wake up. Of course, the ejected cryo tubes from the beginning of Alien 3, containing Ripley, Newt, Hicks, and Bishop. Half Bishop. Hmm. Something creeping around on this ship. What could it possibly be? Cortana, it looks like the flood spread to the ship already. You know, that's one thing that's never really kind of explained in the Alien franchise, I will say, though. This overgrowth, there's no real source of it. It's just supposed to be assumed that the aliens put it up somehow. I guess it's probably just a bunch of alien spit. A camera. Got some of these uh, fleshy eggs. Can punch them to spray acid everywhere. Winner. Somebody was filming. Get me the hell out of here. Hmm. Not sure how he died with his arm extended like that. Oh, well, what's this? A survivor? With a dead face hugger by him. Maybe he's not a survivor after all. Oh no. Shoot that thing! Well, we're dead. Xenomorph got us by surprise. Shoot that thing! Never mind, apparently Xenomorphs are not threatening Don't in the least. Down. Yes, this is the problem with this game right here. Other than the dissolving bodies. And the top of his head, which stays around longer than it should. Oh, come on. Sephora Axel, this is Winter. I've located keys from Rhino 23. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 23. Okay. He's gone. Sit tight. I got you, buddy. Winter, regroup what's left. Get him back to the hangar and the rest of 2 1. Do not engage. This is keys from 2 3, sir. Our mission was to recover the flight data from the Sol Son, I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come- We have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us that, with all due respect- Sir, due my respect. squad means you shut your goddamn mouth and follow your orders. Actual out. Hell with the orders. The flight wreck isn't too far from here. We grab it, link up with Rhino 2-1. O'Neill, you still there? Damn. Are you guys on the way back? No. You gotta buy us ten minutes to grab the flight wreck. Our Marines aren't gonna die for nothing. You've got five to get that recorder and get back here. Keep an eye out for Bella, Keys. We'll ride Ash's Marine. We'll keep an eye out. Thanks, O'Neill. I don't know if I'm maybe just forgetting it, but I'm pretty sure that Urat Ash's thing isn't from the movie at all. Something's down here with us! Won't let him take me again. Contact! Contact! Here we go!
worth pointing out that I haven't actually played this yet. I've only ever seen people play this first level. The room with the fiber corner is at the top of the stairs! I see it! What is this on our motion tracker? This little square over here. Alright, well whatever it is, it's gone now. Oh, no, there it is. I don't know what that is, but we'll just ignore it. But yeah, as you can see, the aliens aren't exactly much of a threat. Whereas in the movies, they're more of a perfected killing machine than anything. So running into a room with more than two of them would have been instant death for us otherwise. Luckily, we can just close the door off. Grab the fly rack! The central console! Get the fly recorder! Grab one mic! Copacetic! Copacetic! They're also way stupider than they are in the movies. O'Neal, Flight Daddy is in route! Two mics to you! You know, instead of coming through the vents or whatever, they're just slamming their heads against the wall. There's no way the flight wreck didn't tape the assholes that did it to the Salako. If we make it back with this thing, who knows what we'll find on it? I guess we should use the pulse rifle. It's kind of the uh, iconic weapon of the movie. Hey, I want to introduce you to a personal friend of mine. This is an M41A pulse rifle, 10 millimeter, with an over and under 30 millimeter pump action grenade launcher. Feel the weight. <laughs> Like, just little things like that. That is something that an alien would never have done in the movies. Just throw itself through the window. It might have, like, kicked in the window, but... Secure our left flank! We lost him! Now, luckily... I guess we don't have to actually protect our. Right. That right there is probably the worst thing. Keep moving. Is when they stand up on two legs and just sprint at you like some sort of zombie. I don't think there's a single time when a xenomorph stands up on two legs and runs at somebody. They always run on all fours. Just really, all of the presentation around the xenomorphs is terrible. Like some of the other stuff looks fine. But of all the stuff that they copied over from the movies, the Xenomorphs are the worst. Of course, that acid blood there is a slight inconvenience. Whereas in the movies, the acid blood was just as dangerous as the actual Xenomorphs themselves. Luckily, we don't have to worry about splash damage like that. Otherwise, this might actually be a challenging game. O'Neill, where I am out of your location in one mic. You're late! Wow, he actually managed to open the door. I thought he would get stuck behind there. Too bad we can't just hop in these power loaders and start slapping Xenos around. On the dropship! Watch this! Grenade out! Keys, wait! Are you out of your damn mind? Good job. Get to the umbilical! He threw a grenade on top of that, like, missile that was just kind of sitting there in front of the dropship. Now, it says we have to defend him, but I don't think they'll actually attack him. That's kind of a pain in the ass that you have to actually manually pick up armor. Right now our 
only weapons are the shotgun and the uh, assault rifle. Pulse rifle, sorry. Luckily, instead of impaling us with their tail or whatever, they just sort of, uh, ineffectually slap at us. Excuse me, coming through. Alright, we're running back to the busted ass umbilical. Oh, keys. You having a bit of a heartburn there? Maybe some, uh, birthing trouble? So, of course, keys had been, uh, implanted by a face hugger. I don't know if that's supposed to be surprising or not. Luckily, they at least seem to have planned for the umbilicals to break, because they put all those handholds. We lost the flight, Rick. Keys. Keys had the recorder on him. That was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, where's that? I always look on the bright side of life. All right, so I guess we're stuck on the Sulaco for now. This is Sephora Actual. 2-1, can you read me? What just happened in the umbilical? Actual, I got solid copy. We lost keys. Pretty sure something exploded from his chest. Is Winter with you? Yes, sir. Any thoughts on the exploding chest issue? All of our Cheyenne-class birds en route to provide Kazavak and ground support. That's almost 80 Marines en route, and we gotta get them somewhere to land. The hangar's out of commission, but we got room in the cargo base. Understood. We are heading to the cargo bay. Two one out. I'm fairly certain that this uh Follow me. Pulse rifle has an undersling grenade launcher, but I don't know how to use it. Because if you look above my ammo there, it looks like I have four shots for it. Flashlight. That's not gonna help. Now, despite the fact that that Xenomorph did actually open the door behind us, I don't think they can normally do that. I'm pretty sure that was just a scripted thing. Alright, we got some more filming going Sephora on. Sephora Actual, we're sending back a live feed. There's no way this is Colonial Marine Tech. It's got way you marking, sir. Oh, shit. What? Everything is timestamped after we received the distress signal from, uh, uh, what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Actual, this is 2 1. What do you make of this? Sir, is there someone else on this ship? I have Bishop sending a signal to weigh you. We ain't got time to sit around and play Sherlock. Get back to the cargo bay. Both of you, out. My God, we are so screwed. I apologize too for uh, not Sephora turning on actual. subtitles. This is Bella from Rhino 23. Do you read? Loud and clear, 23. What's your status? I woke up gagging on a creature like a spider. It wrapped around my face. It's dead, sir. I got separated from my squad. Any news from the rest of my guys? Rest of 23 is presumed dead. I'm sorry, kid. Remnants of Rhino 21 are on their way to the cargo bay. Can you get to the cargo bay, 23? Garnett? Keys? I can't even think right now, Actual. I'm not sure how to get there, sir. You're the last of Rhino 23. Do your best. Get back here alive. Actual out. O'Neill, what's wrong? It sounded like Bella. She. 
We had a thing, okay? What kind of thing? A sex thing. Back it up, Boy Scout. Christ. Hoorah! Sex thing. Anyway, like I was saying, I'll turn on subtitles for future episodes, but I don't want to pop up the menu in the middle of this. Because uh, it seems like this game is a very talky game. And I don't want to have to, you know, be completely silent for most of this. Especially since we're not exactly missing much with most of this dialogue. Alright, well that's a goop. Thanks for telling me how to melee after I've had to do it like 18 times. It only pops up every single time an enemy gets close to you. We need to reach the top of the gravity well! That'll put us right next to the cargo bay! I guess this is the artificial gravity generator. Level up. Congratulations, you just leveled up. Blah blah blah. Alright, so we can buy upgrades for our guns when we level up, I guess. Uh, arsenal upgrades. Okay, so let's see here. Can upgrade our sights. Uh, looks like that's the only thing we can actually upgrade. Is there is there any reason to use a silencer in this game? Uh, let's see. Looks like the only thing we can upgrade for either is just the sight. So I guess let's put a laser sight on our pulse rifle. Seems kind of weird to put a reflex sight on this, considering that this is the far future, and that basically just looks like it's ripped straight out of Call of Duty. But it seems like, uh... Seems like this is really pulling for the modern military shooter with a alien's paint coat. Soaker, Sorry, O'Neill. Well, that one seemed a bit tougher than the ones we've seen. Dr. Conrad, I'd like to... I'd like to formally request a transfer off Project Olivia. Though I appreciate the opportunity to be involved in such cutting-edge research, I fear that I will not be personally capable of performing my duties to their fullest. Um, thank you. This is from Dr. Stanton, uh, by the way. The laser sight really doesn't line up properly. It's way too far to the left where it actually is. And there. What? It's neat hearing the uh, the actual pulse rifle sound, but I can see how that might get kind of a. Uh, Kind of less interesting when you've heard it for the entire game. Which, by the way, uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this game is because it's supposedly only four or five hours long. So it'll be a pretty short LP. died. Got slapped too many times. Alright. It says we unlocked a gun. Do we actually get the gun? Oh, we're 
we're back here. We need to reach the top of the gravity well! That'll put us right next to the cargo bay! Alright, so it seems like they do actually have a pretty damaging attack, but they don't normally use it. Guess they can open doors. We've learned something already. Barry ran behind me. I can't see him when he's behind me. Dr. Conrad, I'd like to. I'd like to. Alright, so, uh, I didn't do it there, but for future deaths, I'm just gonna, you know, edit back to where we died so that we don't have to watch the same thing over and over again. Or at least, so you guys don't have to watch the same thing. They're in the ceiling! Shotgun certainly comes in handy when they try to sprint at you like that. I mean, so far, just you know, going from the actual what we've played so far. I wouldn't say that this is the absolute worst thing ever, as it's being kind of portrayed, but it's not exactly great either. Hey look, Hicks's shotgun. I'd like to keep this handy for close encounters. I heard that. Legendary weapon collected. I wonder if this is any, actually any better than the one we were just using. It looks different. You know, it's kind of beaten up. It says Hicks on it. I don't know if it'll be more effective. Oh, gotta defend another guy while he opens the door for us. I sense this becoming a trend in this game. I think this fires faster than the one we had before. Oh, jeez. a med kit right now. Slaka Waxwell, we have arrived in the first cargo also, bay. Also, it seems like Hicks's shotgun carries less we ammo than the other one. Room. We can pop the doors and blow this shit out into the black. You gotta run this stuff by me before you're speaking crazy.
right? At least they're not all going after me at once. They might actually be more threatening that way. Eyes up! Look up! Look up! Hold them off while I get this open! How about I open it? I hope this isn't gonna break the scripting. not xenomorph behavior here. They would have left as soon as they realized they couldn't get to us and found another way in. Probably supposed to be pressing a button for him right now. I'm just trying to find a health pack. Is that a health pack? No, it's just a box. Right, I guess we can't do anything about our near-death state. Five, I have Sephora actual in tow. Coming in for a landing, Winter. Copy. Understood, Raider. The cargo doors are triggered to close automatically. So hurry up! Oh shit, in my breakfast. Everybody hang on to something! Be advised, actual, that Winter made me scratch my favorite ship, sir. It's your only ship, Reed. We secured the boat. In minutes, this ship will be flooded with Marines. So let's go find Bella. All right, and that is the end of level one. So honestly, that is just kind of meh. It wasn't, you know, the worst thing or, you know, better than everyone said. It's just kind of okay. So we're going to continue with this, and uh, I'll see you next time in level 2, where things get less interesting. Let's just put it this way, I don't think there's a whole lot of xenomorphs in the next level as enemies. We're going to be fighting something else instead. Woo. See you guys.